guys what's up today we're gonna do like a small tutorial on what's the first few things we need to do when we get to the island so we just got from the plane crash so we gotta row ourselves to the island so let's go and grab that I don't know there's a shark somewhere like just swam past okay anyway so we gotta look at the raft and then we gotta go and row ourselves in so the thing is is that we can follow the tutorial guys as you can see in the top left is like new objectives it's very important for you to do all of that stuff that stuff will only help you out it will give you like an idea of how to get your game saved and all of that but for now i'm going to go through you guys with some of the basics we want to get to the shore okay after that we hold e to drop back always put your paddle back where it belongs so this is computer so when you're holding the right click button you can actually pull your raft out very very important guys otherwise your raft will go off and before you can go to another island you will need to go and make another boat and that's going to take all the resources going to take all your time so for now let the games begin guys we first got to find a stone you guys will see a stone or like these just laying here so we're going to grab that stone then we're going to hold in c then we can make like a stone tool from it so let's go and select the stone tool so we're going to use this to chop down things and that so what we got to do is is that you guys need to know that when it rains or whatever everything grows back so if we don't harvest everything now like pull down all the fruits and get all the fruits and the yucca plants and all of that stuff there won't be anything to grow back because it has not been used yet so we got to go and do it so we're going to go chop down these young palm trees they usually take two hits especially with this normal shot like uh, this normal stone tool, so we're gonna grab that as well. So here's the yucca plants, guys. You need to get them down. These guys, they grow back, I think, every three to five days. I might be wrong. So we're gonna go and collect all the stuff. So imagine now, usually it drops six. I don't even know how many I've got now. Let's check. I've got seven. So remember, I've got. So there's actually one missing. There's one somewhere on the floor. All right, it doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. There it is. Where is it? There we go. We got it. So, there's the yucca plants, they're gonna grow back. So, the quicker you get it off, the better. So, here's a fruit plant. Where's the fruit? There's the fruit. Let's take the cura fruit. I don't see any other fruit, so for now it's okay. We can go grab some uh, coconut as well, as they do grow back as well. Let's grab more fruits. So, as you guys can see, this is very important. Even the small, young, what do they call it? I'll, I'll get the name now. The young... Oh my word, what do you call them? The young palm trees, if I'm correct. They also do grow back, so it's very important for you to take them as well. Here it is, the young palm tree. They're definitely going to grow back, so make sure you take it. Grab coconuts. All of these stuff is also very important for survival. So we're going to go here, we're going to grab this one as well. Can we get to the coconut? The coconut's way too high. We're going to have to climb the tree, but we're not going to climb the tree now. There's also crabs, you can kill the crabs and you can like skin them for the meat and then from the meat you can uh, like cook them on a campfire. Alright, we also gotta check these plants guys. Sometimes there's potatoes and there's some like, some stuff you need from it like uh, herbs and stuff so that you can like for make an antidote and all of that. So here's another yucca plant. Yucca, yucca. Alright, there we go. So it drops six. One, two, three. Five and I'm missing one. There it is. Come on, where's it? Where's it? Did I get it? Oh my word. Are you serious? All right, there it is. We got all six of them. So here's another fruit plant. There it is. Wait, wait. There it is. All right, here's another yucca plant. How many is that? Was that three or four yucca plants? Anyway, all of them are important, guys. So while we are harvesting everything, they're going to grow back, guys. And we already have got so much. So also one tip I want to give you guys, uh, give you guys is that after you've got like, everything in your inventory, like these 24, if you do wish to drop them, drop them on one spot, like, but individually. Drop one here, you drop one somewhere else. Uh, do not put everything on one pile. Let me give you guys an example. We're going to go there. One, two, three. We're gonna drop all of them here. Oh, that's a lot, guys. Oh my word, we got like our own bush here. So because they are there, it is really good. Uh, sometimes you should just watch out. I, I think the if the waves can get there, the waves will take it. 
So let me get you a gun. You see, yes, also plants we need to grab. Two and three. There's stones as well. Let's grab stones. Let's grab that. We gotta grab as many stuff as we can. Separate them, keep them apart. Easier to use in the future, easier to find. And this is the most important plant, guys. The PP plant. I know it sounds weird, but the PP plant, it will actually uh, give you antidote to survive. So we gotta grab that. We gotta grab that. So we got all our plants there. So let's go to our stone. Drop stone. Drop stone. You should just watch out. If you drop all the stones, they will like be on top of each other. It's gonna fall off and roll away and everything. So we're gonna put all our stones there. We're gonna put all our wood there. So let's go and harvest a little bit more, guys. So there's fruit. So we're gonna go to our stone tool, chop down a little bit more. All right, scavenged. The thing is, <clears throat> also that I wanna share with you guys is try not to break the trees. Only if you need wood, Take down the trees, but take down the little trees. Leave the big trees, guys, because the big trees are going to provide more smaller trees and stuff. Uh, the small trees, they're, gonna, they're not going to give you... Okay, the big trees are going to give you a lot of wood, but in this game, in the beginning, you don't need so much wood. Especially if you still got your raft. Is that a shark? No. Especially if you do still have got your small raft and you drag them on the sand. I mean, you are sorted for a while. You can still go to other islands and you go harvest all the wood there, guys. So, let's just clean up this island, make sure we got all the consumables that we can get laying around. Uh, there's some crab, let's take some crab as well. Come on, come on! Oh my word, crab! There we go, we got him. Alright, and let's get this crab as well. Oh my goodness, are you serious right now? Oh, it pinched me, guys. Stupid crab, only if I could kick it. Alright, maybe the sure the stone of mine is like really bad. So we can okay, we can't grab that. Our inventory is too full. So always make sure you take everything on the plant, uh, everything on the island is laying around. Like that for now it can lay there. I can just throw my other pile there. It's not like we're gonna need it anytime soon. Can we grab that? Yes we can. So we technically got the outer part, so then we're gonna go in. Usually there's potatoes and everything. Uh, so we got like the beachy sand, there's another stone, and there's another young palm tree, we gotta grab that, there's another stone right there, alright, so are we, oh, here's two of them, so I need to go drop this one there by the other ones, also, here's a plant, I, I won't be able to take it now, let's grab that stone, oh, can't take any stones as well, can we take the stick, no we can't. So can you guys see why it's important to have everything together? It just makes life so much easier. Alright, let's just drop this one over there. One, two... Yeah, do not drop all of them on top of each other. You're going to build like some kind of spiral thing. It's just going to fall all luck like, over and drop everything everywhere. Uh, we're going to go get our sticks. Okay, there it is. And let's go back this way. I saw another stick right here. Also, here's a young palm tree. Let's cut it down. So, next to this, guys, after you have cleaned the entire island, the next thing you'll do is you'll need to go to, like, this ship. A few things sticking out of the water. I know somewhere there's also one. So, you got to go there and try to find everything you can get. Usually, you'll find stuff such as uh, flashlights in it or engine parts. You can build your own air, like, your own boat, guys. That is seriously awesome. Okay, let's go and... Oh, damn it. Anyway, let's drop it. Drop it. Take it. What else can we drop, guys? We can go and drop that as well. One, two, three, four, five. So, with these plants, you can also drop them somewhere. Uh, where are we going to drop them? Let's drop them right here. One, two, three. Where's my PP plant? The PP plant is very important, guys. And usually there's only one per island, which is not a good thing. You guys see how they spiral up? So, that's why you should move like around and then drop it. So, for the fruits, we can just keep it. How, how far are we? Do we need to eat anything? Not yet. Alright, so there's another wood branch. Okay, let's go and drop that. So, there's another few things this side. There it is. There's another plant. Now, for example, if you don't take this plant, nothing will grow again. So, you just take it and then obviously it will grow back. Alright, so let's go and get some potatoes, guys. So, we ran all around the beach area. We got everything. 
we gotta work our way in now. So there's a small tree. There's another stick. There's potatoes, guys. These potatoes are seriously awesome. Right, I didn't see anything else here. Usually there's two potatoes per island. So you gotta make sure you get all of them. So far, I didn't see anything yet. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. But I'm not gonna lie, I was technically a little... Oh, this a uh, young palm tree. Technically, I did kind of loot inside because I got all the yucca plants. I hope I pronounced it correctly, yucca plants. There's another potato bush. And also, I got the fruits from the trees. So, most likely, I got everything. And that seems like about it. Alright, so long story short guys, as I have explained before, I've got everything that I need to get from this island. All the resources laying around, all the uh, resources that will actually grow back. Oh, I didn't see that one. And then also I got everything like in a pile of, so if I need something guys, let's say I want to craft whatever I need to craft. Uh, let's say we want to craft leather or example, a cloth or whatever. At least we've got all the resources. If I need stick, I'll just come get some few sticks. If I need rock, I know where's the rock. I know where's all the the fib fibers leave. Whatever, I know where's all the leaves. I know where's all my plants here for antidope and stuff. Let's just sort that out. That's gonna bother me. Drop it and drop it. Ah, it's still sp okay. There, it fell. It fell. So imagine having a spiral of rocks. They will just collapse and all of them will run down. So yes, guys. This was technically the first thing you need to do when you want to play Stranded Deep. After that, I'll say the objectives in the left corner, you got to do all of them. They're going to learn you how to make a campfire, how to cook, how to cut open, a, what do you call it, a crab. It's going to learn you the basic tips of survival. Also, one tip I can give you guys is always make sure you remain in the shade. Because this sun is going to boil you guys. It's going to uh, give you sunstroke. It's going to make you dehydrate. So whenever you want to do something, just try to be in the shade. Uh, and then throughout the night, you can go run around. Even myself, I prefer to go to other islands at night. And then throughout the day, maybe the early mornings, I'll try to come back. Uh, it, or I'll just stick there till the night. But the only thing is, usually when I do... Sorry guys, I'm, I'm wandering off. But this game is awesome. What I do is, if I do go loot, let's say that island, I'll throw everything in the raft. You can't throw too much in and then I'll sail with the stuff back. Which is very risky at night because usually the waves go like really big at night. And uh, some of the stuff might fall off. It's, then it's wasted, guys. To get it back, I don't, you're going to have to get like, uh, like diving equipment and all of that. Uh, so it's very important not to go like at night. Like just go as the sun is going down or maybe going up. Uh, is one of my best tips and advice as well. But next to that, guys, go over to the objectives in the left corner. I'm not gonna make a video of that. Uh, if you guys want me to, just 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 holler at me. I will go and do that. I've got no problem, guys. But for now, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna definitely bring out more. Uh, next thing is to go and harvest everything around it in the water. Like as you guys can see, there's something, there's something. So yeah. But for now guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys definitely next time. Cheers.